Welcome to Maria College and welcome to Gross Anatomy. Um, so today is just going to be an introduction to the Anatomage, uh, which is some exciting new technology that we've obtained at Maria College. We actually have two Anatomage tables. They're a virtual dissection table. And with them, you actually have the experience of being able to dissect real human cadavers, study normal anatomy, and also be able to look at abnormal anatomy with their case library and all things I'll show you today. So this individual, a previous class of mine, actually named him Ben. <laughs> ben was a, was a real person. And what they did is when he passed away, they froze him and they sliced him into very thin slices and then took pictures of the slice. And then what they did is the, from all those pictures, they digitized him and they were able to get his real human anatomy. And so you can even see that he was a real person because you can see he has imperfections like any person would. If you were using uh, actual real humans, we would have to go through the process of actually removing the skin, actually manually removing the skin. Now with this uh, technology, by just a touch of a finger and moving a little, sliding a little bar, what'll happen is you can actually remove the skin in one little swipe and then see the anatomy underneath. So let's say in class, I've given you a set of muscles to know. So I tell you that day on our objective sheet that you need to know pectoralis major, you need to know, you know, external abdominal oblique and those, you could actually with the table, there's a function that you can use where you can actually touch a muscle and I'll tell you what it is. So like you, with this function here, I can actually touch here and it would tell me that's the pectoralis major muscle, okay? But on the objective, that same objective sheet, I would say that not only do you need to know pectoralis major, but you need to know pectoralis minor as well. Now what happens is pectoralis minor is right underneath major. So in order to see it, you've got to remove pectoralis major. So with this table, you're able to actually touch another button, touch that muscle and remove it. And then you're able to expose what's underneath. And then you would be able to go and see that this right here is pectoralis minor. With just a touch of a finger, you can actually rotate him around just like this and look at the anatomy of the back. I would say that students that were studying the back, you would go through and be able to identify all of these different muscles here. Let's say, for example, in a lab that we're doing, we're studying the anatomy of the pelvis, but I want you to be able to compare the anatomy of a male pelvis to that of the anatomy of a female pelvis, okay? Well, the table is great because we can toggle between the male and the female fairly quickly to be able to show the differences between the two. So like, for example, what I've done here is I've just left the skeletal system for Ben in place. And so what you could see is I want you to notice a few differences here, okay? I just want you to sort of observe what you would be able to do is with a table, be able to manipulate it to be able to see, you know, the opening, the pelvic inlet, the pelvic outlet. And what you would be able to do is you take a look at the male pelvis and then with just a few clicks of a button, you bring up the female, okay? Now I want you to notice a few things. You can see a major difference in the size between the opening here and his. And you can be able, with the table, you can very quickly be able to visualize the differences in male and female anatomy because there are structural differences, particularly in the woman, there's differences associated with adaptations for childbearing. And so you would be able to see those differences and that's the benefit that with the table we have both male and female anatomy that we can study. With Bertha, you can see that there's a dramatic difference with her musculature versus that of Ben's, okay? Her muscles have actually, they're very thin, they've atrophied, and we didn't understand why her muscles were so small. And one day when we were uh, studying the vertebral column, okay, I'll actually show you what we were doing. We did had the table do a cut, cut her in half, okay? All the organs are pretty much removed because I left just the skeletal system. And you could see here that just by moving two fingers out, you can uh, enlarge, okay? Now I want you to see something right here. Do you see in the vertebral column? This is not normal right here. 
she has a compression fracture in her neck. And so it's really great. Not only can we use um, the table to show, you know, normal anatomy differences between male and female, differences in musculature of, um, you know, normal musculature versus that that's been atrophied, um, but we can also see like, you know, disease processes in action and how they sort of can affect different uh, systems. It's really great. We have a whole image library with almost a thousand case studies of abnormal anatomy. Now what's really interesting, if there is a case study we do not have but want, we could actually, if we forge a relationship with, um, you know, with a, a neighboring hospital, for example, we could ask them if they have an MRI or CAT scan of a certain condition. And that's what they did, for example, with this case study. This was a two-dimensional uh, scan. They put it into the software program and put it into three dimension. So you can actually see that we can rotate it around. This is a case study of an abdominal ectopic pregnancy. So what an ectopic pregnancy is, is that a baby is growing essentially in the wrong location. And so right here, you see the skull is right there. You see the vertebral column, the rib cage, you see the bones in the extremities. And then this right here is the placenta. Utilizing the anatomosh tables as a teaching tool has really revolutionized how anatomy is taught. The fact that Maria College is such a small institution and we have not just one but two of these anatomage tables has been very exciting for us but it's really exciting that the students who are coming into Maria can benefit from this technology and something that really sets us apart from other um, institutions is that we have this and, um, and it really provides a very unique learning experience that you would not be able to gain at other comparable institutions in the area.